Welcome back. This is Tune to Finance in its first episode, and we're discussing the concept of buying on margin, which has to do with expecting prices to rise, and hopefully in the future, once, once the prices go up, you will have a return. Now, the example was on Apple shares, and the price today, or the price at purchase, was $400. I was able to buy 20 shares using a combination of my own money with a borrowed amount of $4,000. Now, the maintenance margin is 40% and you're not supposed to go below this amount or else you will receive a margin call. The loan amount is $4,000 and now I'm going to discuss what's going to happen at maturity considering that this will be after one year. You will receive four dollars per share as dividends now because you own these 20 shares you will receive dividends on that and the total dividends will be of course the number of shares times the dividend per share and this will be four times 20 80 dollars as total dividends the interest is five percent and this will be the interest paid on the loan amount and because you have borrowed the amount for one year you will have to pay the interest over the whole year and of course the interest paid will be the borrowed amount of four thousand dollars multiplied by the interest rate and of course times 12 over 12 which represent a whole year the interest paid in this case will be two hundred dollars so the dividend amount will be received and the interest will be paid simply because you own the shares so you receive dividends on that and you have borrowed four thousand dollars and of course you have to pay interest on this amount now let's say at maturity or after one year the price becomes four fifty dollars per share and now we can calculate the return on this investment using this formula which is simply the number of shares into p1 minus p0 p1 is the price at maturity p0 is price today plus total dividends received less interest paid all divided by your own money or your initial investment which was simply the amount of money you used from your own savings so using this formula I have 20 shares into P1 for 50 less P0 of 400 plus the total dividends received of 80 less the interest paid and my own money, just like the previous videos, was $4,000. Now, my return is 22%, so I ended up gaining simply because the price per share in the future went up. So my expectations were true, and I had a positive return on this concept, which is the buying on margin. Now, finally, we can calculate our remaining margin, which is the margin at maturity or at time equals one and of course the margin formula is the same which is assets minus liabilities divided by the value of stock now the different thing here is that my assets changed because I received more dividends and my liabilities will change because I had to pay the interest finally the value of stock will be the number of shares times the new price so using this formula, it's simply the number of shares times P1 plus total dividends less the loan amount and the interest paid divided by the number of shares times P1. And using this formula, applying these numericals, I get a remaining margin of 54%. So if I compare the remaining margin with the maintenance margin, I'm 14% above, so I am safe at the end and if you remember from the first video my initial margin was 50% so I ended up having a margin which is higher than the initial one which is a healthy sign and this proves that I have a positive return so that would be the end of the first episode and the concept was buying on margin and this happens when prices are expected to rise you use combination of your own money with a borrowed amount to buy a certain security or shares and in the future you sell these shares so that you gain this positive profit now thanks for watching and again this is due to
finance don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel of course like my facebook page this is clear here so tune to finance will be my facebook page my youtube channel is as ramadan and my twitter is izzy1071 thanks a lot for watching and don't forget tune to finance